Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming, where we have finally got the bear back. Um, the bear, unfortunately, has lost a lot of its stuffing, and I'm guessing we're going to have to put it back together. Um, at least the diary says fix Mr. Fumble, so <clears throat> it's probably a good guess, right? We've got some thread here. I think, if I remember right, we tried using the plaster with the bear. He needs more than a plaster. <clears throat> yeah, so I wonder if we can use this thread to... I'll need a needle if I'm going to sew him up. Ah, okay. Did we try that last time? Maybe we did. I can't remember. Let's see if we've got any needles anywhere. Um, nothing in the kitchen. We can't even get in there, can we? Uh, we've got we've got some fishing hooks and things, fishing reels. I don't think we can actually get anything out of here, can we? It's locked away. Yeah, so it's all locked. We've got the badger head, which I don't think does anything as far as I can remember. I think we got an eye from it. Uh, let's go up here. We'll see if there's any sort of needles or anything scattered around. Maybe something like this could have a needle. I don't need to impress anyone with my angling prowess. Okay. Um, any sorts of needles in the bathroom? This is like a good old-fashioned pixel hunt, isn't it? Oh, do we need this soap? I don't want to touch it. Okay, I can't even remember if we tried to look at that. We keep leaving this, this cupboard open as well, but I'm sure it's not a problem. Dental floss, pills, painkillers, razor? I, I doubt that would work. There's no point. It's blunt. Yeah, I, d I doubt that would work. Um, can we lift this up? We can. Let's look in the toilet. Just a load of vibrant blue water. Yep, keeping the toilet nice and clean. Can we open this up? Let's take a look. Oh, we can. Ooh, fascinating. A load of vibrant blue water. Okay, <laughs> let's just leave it like that. We're trashing the house. So no needles in there. Uh, I, I, I don't know that we're going to have any needles in here, but we can have a look. I hope Lucy hasn't got any needles in her room anyway. That wouldn't be a very good thing, would it? Uh, robot truck. No. Just some pens. Fan. Nope, not seeing anything there. Alright. I, I mean, I very much doubt it's going to have anything to do with Lloyd. Wasn't this... Did it say something about this being screwed shut? I can't remember. My parents nailed it shut after Lloyd threw his hamster out of it. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if we can... No. No, I think we tried the pliers on there before, if I remember correctly. Um, so that's their room. I don't even want to think... Yeah, we don't want to go in there. Alright, nothing up there. Maybe something in the garage? Um, we've got this massive salmon here. Decorative stems, photo... No, okay. Any sorts of needles, mole matches. I, mean, I don't suppose the fire irons will work. I don't need them right now. No, it's a photo album which we looked at before. Some magazines. I'm not seeing anything here, which makes me wonder if it's going to be something in here. There's a hook. It's screwed to the wall. Ah, oh, okay. Can we? It's a mini pair of pliers. Can we use the mini pair of pliers to pull it out of the wall? I don't want to break it. No. Do we have a screwdriver? We do not, but there might be one in here. It's the noose, the net, uh, all sorts of crap over here. Weed killer, rusty nails. No, there's no screwdriver. There's screws, but no screwdriver. Uh, did we look in here? It's damp and made of cardboard. Yeah, damn. It's a bit big for a dream box. Okay, there's another hook here. Can we get that? It's screwed to the wall. No, okay. Uh, okay. I don't suppose we can, like, take the pictures down or anything. It's attached to the wall. No, can we pick up the... It's stuck in its mouth. Ah, what did we... Do? Okay, there's a hook in there. Can we get that? I can't get a proper hold of it with my fingers. Okay. I don't really want to touch it. Maybe we can use the pliers here then. Come here, you little. Hey, nut. okay. It's my mum's winning fish hook. Okay. Can we combine these two together? It's not straight enough to use for sewing. Ah, we need to straighten it. Okay. 
Is it just a case of using this again? Because you can normally straighten things. Now yeah. it's a straight fish hook. Okay, nice. Fine. This will be handy. Nice. All right, we're getting somewhere, guys. Can we? There we go. All stitched up. Yay! Okay, stitched up. So, I'm guessing he can probably go into the the box now. Okay, that was pretty cool. That that fish hook was very well hidden in there. Right. In you go. In you go, Mr. Fumble. Okay, what's in the dream box now? It's my crappy dream box with a plant joke book inside and a toy bear. Picking it up would most likely bring back my nightmare. <laughs> All right, so what else do we need to do? Try and remember the passcode for the laptop, fix the bike. So, have we finished the box? One, find a suitable box. Two, decorate with peaceful runes. Three, add a dream companion. I reckon Mr. Fumble would be perfect. Yep. Four, add inspiration to distract from any negative thoughts. Books and other literature work best. So we've got the joke book. Then apparently I just place it next to my bed. There's a footnote. You can combat <coughs> fear with laughter. Okay, well we've done that, so... Okay. I mean, this is where all hell breaks loose. So we've got our our dream box. Do we have to like put the pajamas Some in? Privacy, please. Oh no, we just got to. Okay, well, yeah, we can just change. Right. Okay. <coughs> so can this we? This is where all hell breaks. Can we go to bed now that we've got okay, the box? Okay, I'm all ready. Let's do this. We can. Oh, here we go. Well, this is different. It's uh, not exactly what I'd call a sweet dream, but I suppose it's a step in the right direction. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything here that can help me with my nightmare. We're in the... I seriously doubt it. <laughs> he talks. Okay, I guess we're in a dream world now then. That We're in the dream world. Um, Mr. Fumble. It's a physical manifestation of my toy bear. Okay, there's some sand here. I'm gritty enough. Right, I guess we don't need the sand. A break? Some pulleys with a broken rope. Uh, can we can we use this? Well, that did a big fat load of nothing. No. Okay. Can we pick up any of this stuff? It's bolted to the floor. No. Can we get the pulleys? I don't want to interfere with them. No. Okay. Can we get the rope? It's attached to a highly technical lifting mechanism. Right. Okay. So, maybe we have to use it? And then take the rope? Well, that did a big fat load of nothing. Oh no, she's going to switch it back. Okay. We've got the ladder. It's a step ladder. Looks sturdy enough. What are these? Flies? Yeah, they are. Okay, that's just weird. What's the deal with the flies? I can't reach them, thankfully. Okay. Uh, curtain. I can hear laughter on the other side. Oh. The book say that I could combat fear with laughter. It did. I need to open these curtains. Right, okay, we've got to open these curtains. Uh, how are we going to do that? Them. They're too heavy. Okay, maybe maybe this is all part of the curtains? Can we talk to the bear? We <laughs> can! You're real! You're real! Apparently. <laughs> Any idea how we could open these curtains? Any idea how we could open these curtains? How should I know? Uh, you, hi? <laughs> uh, hi. If you say so. You don't say much, do you? You don't say much, do you? Look, I've literally got a splitting stomachache. Oh, no. And I almost ended up having experimental surgery on my bare leg. <laughs> so forgive me if I don't feel like entering into a protracted chit-chat session with you. Someone who spent most of their life squashing me. Drooling on my fur, chewing my eyes. <laughs> oh, good point. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for everything. It's okay. It's just not the best day to find yourself anthropomorphically personified. <laughs> I'll leave you alone now. I'll leave you alone now. Thanks. I appreciate that. I feel a bit bad. Okay, there's a sandbag here. I don't know if we can... It's already doing a fine job. Can we pick it up? 
I can't. It's heavier than me. Okay, there's the sandbag, some more pulleys, a note. Let's look at this note. Comedy club rules. One, minimum six jokes per routine. Two, no fraternising with the judges. Three, no jokes about weed killer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we take that? I'll leave it there for other <clears throat> no. people. Okay, it's a fire extinguisher. I hope I won't need it. Can we grab that? There isn't a fire. Okay, it's not a fire. Can we go... Oh, no, we can't go this way. So we literally have these pulleys. <coughs> the broke... Unless... We... Did we try using the broken rope? Because this is, like, the only thing we haven't... Oh, there we go. Hmm. Enough to pull this down by myself. Right, because of the sandbag. So do we have to ask Mr. Fumble? It's a physical manifestation of my toy bear. Let's see. Maybe we can ask He's a bit too big to hug now. Okay. Maybe we can ask him. Okay, I'm not heavy enough to pull the rope. Could you give it a go? I'm not heavy enough to pull the rope. Could you give it a go? Sure. A head trauma would go great with this cash in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Mr. Fumble. I'm hanging. <laughs> Do we just grab hold now, or? He's already well used. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe maybe we pull this now. Yep, that'll do it. Oh my god. Oh, heck. I thought my regular dream was weird. <laughs> the trap. <laughs> okay, we're we're on stage. That's uh, unexpected. The trap. That must be the name of this place. It's open mic night. It's open mic night. Carnivorous comedy. We need to find out what that's all about. Yeah, we do. We've got the microphone here, the flies. I see I see the flies connection now. Drink promotion. Quit dreaming and audio pinch me picture tonight. <laughs> There's the audience. They look like a fun lot. Yeah, they do actually. Can we talk to the uh the barman? Can we take the glass? That's the real question. If I want a drink, I should probably order one. All right, maybe we order a drink. Hello. <laughs> hey, little lady. What is this place? What is this place? The Trap. It's a comedy club for carnivorous plants. Uh, what's the microphone for? What's the microphone for? It's to give would-be comedians a shot at the big time. Well, the medium time at any rate. <laughs> you mean anyone can have a go? You mean anyone can have a go? Yep. This place has no standards at all. <laughs> Why would anyone take part? Why would anyone take part? Comedy is a window to the soul. It can help you relearn things about yourself that you've forgotten. Mm. Plus, there's a prize if you score over 20 points. Oh, we can do that. What's the prize? What's the prize? Usually, it's whatever I can find behind the bar. Nice, okay. I could do with something that'll prevent me falling to my death. Heavy. <laughs> Preferably not. <laughs> People usually just want money. But if you score over 20 points, just come over to the bar and I'll see what I can find. Right, we need to score over 20, 20 points. Who are those judges? Who are those judges? The three Spooges. <laughs> Big TV stars a few years back. But their show was cancelled and they fell on hard times. Aww. Now, they take it out on all the new comedians. What sort of jokes do they like? What sort of jokes do they like? <laughs> Anything about plants, flies, or gangster rap right. tends to go down well. The more jokes, the better. Okay. What have you got? What have you got? Unless you've got some ID or a fake moustache, it's a pinch <laughs> me picture for you. <coughs> yeah, what's in a pinch me picture? What's in a pinch me picture? Fruit juice, wasabi, black pepper, oh. and my own digestive enzymes. God. It really wakes you that up. That sounds hideous. One pinch me picture, please. One pinch me picture, please. Sure, this one's on the house. Don't drink it all at once. Thanks. I'll just pick it up before someone else takes it. Okay, so we've actually got to pick that up. Thanks for the chat. Thanks for the chat. It's, uh, it's been something, that is for sure. They look like a fun lot. Yeah, can we actually talk to them? Because it did say about the rules, not... He's trying very hard not to notice me. Yeah, that's what I noticed. Let's uh, let's look at them. He's got a very wide mouth. He has. He's very smartly dressed. He is. He's got weird sticky stuff in his hair. Oh, uh, yeah. That's... Uh... Let's look at the sign. Judges. Judges. Nice table. It's quite a nice table, actually. 
They're a great way to get from the floor to the stage without flying. Yeah, true. All right then, well, I guess we're going to have to do some comedy, but we're actually going to do that in the next episode because we're out of time. This is certainly a very unusual twist, isn't it? And I like it. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.